Some things work really well together. So here's the Lost Vape UB Pro Pod Tank Pod Pod Tank unleashed after being tied to the Gross 100 Watt Thelema Quest 200 Watt and now the Quest Cyborg 100 Watt kits. Here we have the 810 removable drip tip and the rather workable silicon stopper. Not the biggest of fill ports, but it's likely to get the job done. Yeah, the pod has a diameter of 25mm, which displays out to 28mm around the tank itself. Here's part of the Tri Airflow Adjustable Airflow System. What you adjust on one side will adjust on the other. And to get to replacing the PNP coils, just unscrew the tank pod, tank pod from the base section. And as you can see inside there, there is a gold plated coil contact. Yeah, so there's some nice micro knurling at the base there to help with those airflow adjustments. And on the bottom, we have the protruding gold plated 510 pin. Lost vape written across there nice and clearly as well. So let's move on from here. Let's have a quick look at the UB Pro 0.15 ohm coil. And it's rated between 70 and 90 watts it's a nichrome 80 mesh and as you can clearly see by the ball it's designed for direct lung vape this is the other one that comes in the package and it's the UB Pro 0.3 ohm stainless steel or SS904L coil and it's capable of an output of between 60 to 70 watts and also works fine in temperature control mode. So for all the newbies out there, let's have a look at how to install a coil and fill the tank. Obviously unscrew the tank from the deck first. And then this is an optional procedure, but I like to prime the cotton of the coils first. As I say, it's not essential, it's probably just my OCD going into overdrive as usual because what you'll need to be doing anyway is to let the juice soak into the cotton for a good five minutes before you take your first vape. You have to be patient, unlike me. So the UB Pro coils are plug and play, so it's just a case of pushing the coil up inside the chimney, your pistagin nail, there's a seal on the upper and lower sides of the coil, so they should help to provide a very good seal. Just make sure it's in there firmly. Then simply remove the silicon stopper. As you can see with this tank, it's very easy to do. Push it to one side as you squeeze or administer, fantastic word, have to use it. Administer e-liquid down into the pod itself. Take your time. This is a the five mil pod, so bit more. There we go. Replace the silicon stopper. This is actually quite important. Make sure you have sealed that really well. Just check to make sure it's flush against the side of the tank. And there you go, that's 
basically it. You've filled the tank. The next thing to do is to replace the deck back onto the tank. Look at those lovely air bubbles. Don't, aren't they just hypnotizing? Okay then, so you just need to screw the tank back onto the deck, like so. Making sure it's finger tight, you don't have to go mad. And then just simply make your appropriate airflow adjustment. As I said, leave the tank for a good five minutes before taking your first vape. And away you go. So I mentioned at the start of the video how some things just seem to work well together. And here's the UB Pro with the Lost Vape Thelma Quest 200 watt mod, which is also reviewed on the channel. It's a perfect match, or uh, would be if I'd picked one up in black. Anyway, here's a quick look at some of the highs and lows of the Lost Vape UB Pro pot tank. Start with the negatives, and the 0.3 ohm stainless steel coil produces only average flavour. You'll get a lot of whistling and the drip tip will heat up under tighter restrictions. And generally a loud vape. Not compatible with all 510 drip tips and it's also a bit of a juice guzzler. Let's go out on a high. It's easy to disassemble, replace the coil and refill. In fact the silicon stopper is very easy to use being side mounted. I had a leak free performance and the 0.15 ohm NI80 mesh coil performed extremely well. There was great vapour production with both coils and fantastic use of knurling around the AFC ring. Okay folks that's it for today, hope you enjoyed the video, um, please remember to like, comment and subscribe and as always I'll see you on the vape side.